This is the story about a wonderful collection of paintings by the Bruegel family, put together by a Belgian industrialist, Evans Coppe, in the 1920s, immediately after the First World War. And I sense that there was a desire to return to a world that was more remote from the 20th century, from the awful years that Belgium had gone through in the First World War. The remarkable thing about these three Peter Bruegel the Youngers, not only are they amongst the best that you'll find of each type, but they represent three completely different facets of his career and of his interests. In the composition that's always known as the Bird Trap, we see a Flemish village in deepest winter. It's icy cold. The air is crystalline. We see in the distance very small figures of the Holy Family. If you look very carefully, there's a trap and there's a little piece of string that leads up into um, a house. And there's a man inside watching out and as soon as the birds are ready, he's going to pull the string and the trap will fall down on the birds. There's a certain amount of quotidian cruelty about it, but it's a most beautiful scene. This is a painting of a raucous wedding feast these figures swirling around, dancing to the deafening. Imagine the sound of those Flemish pipes. These figures, probably all pretty drunk by now, having a great time. And in the middle of it, this rather lost figure of the bride. The artist is really reveling in the earthy pleasures of the drunken peasantry. He's not observing them. He's really one of them. He's taking part in all of this. And finally, we have a completely different and truly remarkable painting by Bruegel, which is the most moving depiction of Calvary, Christ on the cross and the two thieves set before Jerusalem. It's a bleak landscape. The bleakness of it reflects the deep sadness and seriousness of the scene. It's quite an early work for Peter Bruegel the Younger. It's a work by an artist who may not yet have found his market, but he certainly found himself. Peter Bruegel the Younger is now one of the most sought after old masters that you can find. But in the 1920s, when Baron Coppe was collecting, um, he was not uh, as highly regarded as now. So Coppe was well ahead of his time. There had been a great impetus in collecting native Flemish art in the years around 1900. I think that after the First World War, this took on renewed impetus. But whereas the collecting in around 1900 had generally been early Netherlandish paintings, 16th and 15th century paintings, after the First World War, there was more uh, interest in the 17th century, and in particular in the years following the Spanish Terror, when Flanders found a, a, an era, an epoch of peace, following a, a period of, of pretty brutal suppression.